Today, we're gonna take a look at the updated version of Doodly. The last time we checked out this software on my channel, uh, was about a year ago or maybe a little bit more. And since then, Doodly has made like a ton of changes and I definitely think it's worth a second look. If you're new here, my name is Jen Jagger. I have a professional video production company and I have this YouTube channel where I like review products like this and give you production advice and growing on YouTube advice. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, hit that subscribe button. So today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a tour of the updated Doodly software, give you a couple demos of a couple new features and. And if you're interested in like a really serious tutorial, I do have on my website a doodly in-depth tutorial I'm calling the genius track where you're actually gonna be like, it's almost like you're sitting next to me and I'm showing you step-by-step step my entire workflow, how I create a video on doodly. So if you're interested in a more advanced intermediate to advanced tutorial, come on over to jenjager.com. I'll also link it below and check that out. But first, let's just hop into Doodly and I'll show you how it works if you're new to it and what's different if you've seen it before. All right, so here we are signed into Doodly. Now let's just take it from the top and create a new video. Now, one of the first things I wanna show you is that in addition to a whiteboard background, a chalkboard background that comes in like a black or like an old school green chalkboard look or a custom background where you can put any color or upload your own image. There's this new, I think it's new, it's a glass board feature. So it's almost like you're on the other side of a glass pane and someone's writing on the glass. It's a really modern look and I do like it a lot. And we'll look at that in a second, but first I just kinda wanna take you through the traditional whiteboard style. So that's what I'm gonna select. We're gonna change our dimensions to 1080 and I'm just gonna call this Doodly 2020 review. Okay, and here is the interface on Doodly. Let's just take a quick tour of this software. Over here on the left, you have all of your assets that come pre-programmed into Doodly. Now I'm on the $67 one-time fee version of Doodly. They run this special from time to time. As of this recording, it's going on hot right now. And I think a lot of people are grabbing it. So this is what you're gonna get with that $67 uh, version. Now over here, you have your characters, you have scenes, tons of scenes. Lots of characters, people. You have props and you can actually search here for anything. So let's search for like a dog and here we go. Here's our dog. Now there's other dogs. I can see this is a Chihuahua here. This is locked, I believe because of the version that I'm on or we can actually purchase this graphic in a multi-pack, which I will show you in a little bit. Um, we've got our fonts here. Now these three are three that come pre-installed with Doodly and these two are ones that I uploaded. So one of the things Doodly can do is that you can import your own fonts to work within this program, which is really good. If you're like me and you have tons of fonts and you wanna use all the fonts you have, you're not happy with what comes with Doodly, you're, there's unlimited uh, fonts that you can bring into Doodly, which is really good. You also have what they call sound. So there's tons of royalty-free music tracks that Doodly has licensed for you. And again, there's some that are not included on the version of Doodly that I am on. But we can also import our own. And then here is the marketplace. Let's click that marketplace button and it brings us to a website and they have bundles. So they are curated bundles of images that you can purchase for your Doodly project. And there's so many of them. And they're, like I said, they're curated. So this one's nature, this one's natural disasters. So they really try to think about what a user might need and include lots of images in one bundle. Let's look at this male expression. This package is $27. Now you might be curious why these guys are in color and the illustrations we're seeing in our Doodly package are in black and white. Let me explain. There's an upgrade now. This is one of the new features that Doodly has done. An upgrade, it's called the rainbow pack. And what it allows you to do is to make the assets color just by turning on and off this Doodly 
rainbow button. Now, again, this is an upgrade that I did spring for because I really wanted to see uh, how it worked. Now, if you go over here, here is our canvas. So we chose the whiteboard option. So if we were to drop something in, this is where we're building our frame and we can zoom out so we can see that this is the dimensions that we chose for our project at the beginning. Over here on the right is all of your actions. So this is how you can determine the timing of your illustration. So you can increase this number here to delay how soon the character comes on. And then you can, in this duration tab, adjust how long it takes to draw on. So you can really time things out. And one, one of the things I really do like about this is that the increments um, of the durations are really small. So it's not like one second at a time. You really can like fine tune. And that's actually not true with every software I looked at. So I really do appreciate this on Doodly. Now here at the bottom is probably the most important area. This is our timeline. So this is like a visual representation of how our video is going to be sequenced together. This is where you add in your voiceover by clicking this little button here. You can add music. These are your scenes. You can add new scenes. I'll just do that here. So we can add as many scenes as we want. And then this little magic button is the camera feature. Now this is a new feature for Doodly. And in my mind, it's a bit of a game changer. A camera in a software like this basically means that you can zoom in, zoom out, pan in, pan, you know, pan, left or right or up or down on any given area of your canvas. And it looks like, you know, it's not like cutting scenes. This happens, then that scene goes away and the next scene comes in. You can go from this scene to that scene and just like zoom in and out. And honestly, it's, it really elevates the look of your project. This is something Doodly did not have before. And in my mind is a huge, huge improvement. So I was so happy to see that they added that because cameras in any of the softwares I work with, they're one of my like main go-tos for kind of adding a little more spice or life to any project. So I'm just going to do a quick demo for you guys here. Uh, let's first start with dropping in a scene. I'm just going to grab this one here. And I just want to show you that the scene is like pre-designed for you, but all of these elements are individual. So every single one of these chairs is customizable in, in the way that I can shrink it, make it bigger, reposition it, or I can just delete it if there's like too many chairs around this table. So I'm going to get rid of this entirely. And let's demo a character. Let's get this guy, Adam here. He's frustrated. I can uh, flip Adam back and forth. I can go under the settings button, change his op opacity. I can change the way he comes on to the screen. So he can either just be there or I can have him draw on. The duration of his drawing on is three seconds. And then what I can do is I can have him erase and I can change the duration of how long it takes to erase him as well. Let's hit apply. And let's preview this. This is a new button that Doodly has. And to show you what I really like about this, I'm going to drop in a voiceover into this timeline. This voiceover has absolutely nothing to do with what we're working on, but it's just to show you what has changed in Doodly in terms of their previewing and really matching up your audio with your visual. So let me just show you really quick how it works. I'm just going to click on over to this show preview button and you can see this screen has popped up. And now keep your eye here on my voiceover at the bottom. You can see here, I can scrub with this playhead and go back and forth and see the action as it's happening. And then the voiceover gets highlighted so I can see exactly where I am in my voiceover. So let's just do a quick preview and see how this looks. Cybercrime is on the rise, but you can better protect yourself with a few that to me is a really important feature that was missing in the old version of Doodly. So I was ecstatic to see that. I think it's going to be really helpful for you guys when you're trying to really create a longer format video where you're very specific about uh, matching your visuals with your audios, which, you know, if you're really kind of more experienced creator, you're, that's probably very important to you, just like it is to me. So I was really, really happy to see that. 
Now I want to show you a trick for coloring in a character. This only works if you have the rainbow pack. So first what we want to do is we want to start with choosing a character. Let's just choose Adam, arms up. We're going to drop him in. I'm going to make him a little bigger. And then what I'm going to do is hit this rainbow button and turn the rainbow on. And I'm going to take the color version of Adam and I'm going to drop him in as well. And I'm also going to scale him up and I'm going to match him up perfectly size wise. So what's going to happen here is that we're going to draw on the black and white version and we're going to then color him in. Now what I want to do is open up the settings for this black and white version because I want to make sure his exit animation is on none because I don't want him to be erased. I just want the outline to stay and then I want it to color in. Let's try that preview. So he's getting drawn in and he's getting colored in. So that's how you get that cool color in effect. Now let's work with those camera moves. Let me show you how they work. Let's go on over to the timeline. I'm going to hit the plus sign and double click this little bar that shows up. Here's this window. Basically what it does is it shows us where our, in our viewfinder here, where the camera's going to start and where it's going to end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the effect zoom out. So it's going to start tighter on a tighter shot, our area that's highlighted here, and then it's going to end on this wider shot. I actually want it to be full because I want to see the entire character. So let's hit apply and just see how that looks. Show preview. And so you can see that happen pretty quickly. If I wanted it to extend for the duration of my scene, I'm just going to grab that bar and slide it. Now that zoom out is going to happen a lot slower. It's going to go the whole duration of my scene. Let's try it again. really cool. Now that's a very basic camera move and a very basic way to use the camera. Again, in my doodly genius track at my website, I get more, much more detailed into cameras and how to use them. So if you're interested in that, or if you've tried the camera feature and you're like not getting the hang of it, hop on over to my website. Just want to go over with you a few more features of Doodly um, in terms of changing the way things get drawn in. One thing is that you notice that the hand we're using is wearing a sweater. There's so many options for hands. Let's go on over to the settings tab over here and you can see that there's many different types of hands, women's hands, men's hands, more close up um, that you can use to draw on your scenes. You can also do left-handed, which is pretty cool. The other thing that Doodly has added is this cartoon hand feature. So now there are different cartoon illustrated hands that can draw on your illustration. So you can go like full blown cartoon if you want. Now let's look at that glass board look. Cause to me, I loved this. This is what I was talking about where your hand, the hand will face the camera instead of the other way around. Let's just hit apply and I'll show you what that looks like in this particular drawing. And what's cool, I don't know if you noticed, the image is transparent where the hand is behind it. And I honestly, I think that's like a very elevated look. I do like that very much. Another feature that Doodly has, it, it had it before and it still has it now, and it is still one of my favorite features because I do think it gives you a lot of control, is what's called custom paths. So when you have an asset that comes with Doodly, the hand already knows how to draw it in. But if you bring in your own asset, 
doodly just defaults to this like left to right scribble instead of like really drawing something in a really uh, accurate way or realistic way. You know, if you were going to draw someone's face, you might start with their eyes, but doodly would start with like the top left corner of their head. Do you know what I mean? So it's really nice to be able to tell Doodly this is the way you go to draw something on. So I just wanna show you really quick how it works because it's great. I'm first gonna import my own asset. So I'm gonna go over to props. I'm gonna hit this blue crossbar here and browse files. I'm gonna bring in this computer screen image. All right, and it's dropped right into my canvas. And so if I wanna modify this, the custom path, actually first let me show you how it defaults to coming on. So you see it just scribbles left to right. That's not what I want. Let's hide the preview. I'm gonna click on this computer screen. I'm gonna hit this little pencil tab and it's gonna bring me here. If you look at the top right, this is how the computer defaults to drawing in. It just kind of loops and shows you what's going on. So what I want to do is create a custom path by hitting this plus button. And I'm just going to click along the way here, all the way around the edge of my computer, because this is how I want it to start drawing on. Now, if you look at the preview window, you can see that it's a very skinny line. It doesn't, it's definitely not showing my entire outline of my computer. So what I wanna do is increase the path size. And then what I can do is make adjustments to these keyframes. And there we go. Now what I can do is, so that's one path. Now I'd like to add a new path. So the second path, I'm gonna have draw in the base of the computer. So it's gonna outline, and then I'm gonna have it zigzag in to fill it in. And then I can play with these keyframes. And the trick is to get everything in your image somehow under the red highlight. Because otherwise it'll never get drawn in. It'll just pop on when the hand is done drawing. Close all these gaps. All right, and then next, so you can see in the preview window, we go around the border and then it scribbles in Next new path, if I really wanted to, I could get super detailed with this screen. I'm not gonna take the time to do that, but it would be kind of cool if I made all of these bar graphs zoom in. All right, so I'm gonna hit save and return, and let's preview this baby. That looks good, right? I love that custom path feature. It mm, makes everything look so great. All right, so let's talk about Doodly, what I like and what I dislike about it. The things I really love, first of all, the camera, the camera feature now, like I said, Total game changer, huge fan of that. I really think they did a great job. I love that you can import your own images, you can import your own fonts, and so you can really take you know, the standard doodly package and really bring it to life. I like that they curated in the marketplace all of the different bundles of images. It's nice just to have like a curated package of images that are really relevant to whatever video content you're making, so I did like that. I felt like the prices were a little high, especially if you're spending only $67 for the whole software and then like another $30 for every bundle. Seemed a little high to me, but I do like the idea of it. I love that they added the color 
um, option with the rainbow pack. I definitely think that one is actually worth the extra money in my opinion, because you can really easily with the doodly assets, you can really easily color things in super, super simply. And it's a really cute effect. I love the custom paths as always. I love the new glass board look. I think it just looks so sharp and modern. And so I'm a huge fan of that as well. And the other thing I, of course, really, really loved was the new show preview button where you could really just scrub through your timeline and figure out exactly where your video was visually in relation to your audio waveforms. That sort of control and insight into what's going on in your timeline is so valuable to a creator like me. If I really had a nitpick about what I would change, I think I could suggest a few more improvements if the doodly guys were interested in what I had to say. I wish that you could toggle um, between the colored in version of your illustration and just the black and white version once you drop something into your canvas. Uh, you kind of have to decide before you add something to a scene whether or not you want the color or black and white version. And I, I have to say, I kind of wish that you could make that decision more on the fly and not have to go back and rebuild and readjust. You know, I, I think that would be a nice, I would think an easy feature to add. The other thing that I wish could be improved upon was with that glass board look that I love. I wish you could drop a background into the glass board look because I had this idea where I wanted to show someone's like, kind of like their shoulder. So it looked like someone was actually standing there writing in and I couldn't do that. Uh, with the glass board look. And that was kind of a bummer. I think that would have been really great. The other thing that I do kind of wish Doodly would offer is a different style of asset. This is something that you see a lot, like I think like Beyond comes to mind, where they had just had different styles of assets. So it wasn't always the same look every time. Now with Doodly, you can import anything into your project. So you can source files in the aesthetic that you want, even if it's like real photos or like more sleek kind of cool images like this computer I got here is something I brought in on my own. And I just wish that they would kind of like I guess the term is like advance the story a little bit, like what's next for graphic design. You know, these doodles are great, but they're a very specific look. And I think this, this cool like drawing in uh, whiteboard technology software could just kind of elevate itself a little bit. I, I kind of want Doodly to move forward with what's next in design. So that is something that I think that, that could be improved upon, even though you can bring in your own assets. I almost like when I did my you know, the genius track tutorial video, I didn't use any of the doodly assets because I wanted something that was like a really cool, specific looking look. And I just felt like, you know, the doodly illustrations just weren't doing it for me, but I could still make what I wanted out of it. So I'm not trying to say that the software isn't sufficient. It's just, I think it would be nice not to have to go out and source my own images and really be satisfied with what doodly was offering to me. I also wish, that you could change the colors of the assets in the rainbow pack. So in other softwares, you can change someone's shirt color, uh, pants color, you know, stuff like that. And there's no control with the rainbow pack. It's either this set of colors or no colors. So I think that could be improved upon as well. But honestly, guys, other than that, I think that Doodly has really, really stepped up with a lot of these new features. To me, I, it's definitely like a software I liked before, but now I really can see a lot more uses for it in my professional life. So I'm definitely going to give the new Doodly version and all the upgrades they put in and still kept it that $67 price if the special's running when you're watching this, I have to give that a big thumbs up. So I really appreciate Brad over at Doodly calling uh, my attention to what's changed in this software because it definitely was worth a second look. If you wanna take that Doodly Genius Track class where I show you how to do everything in Doodly to make a really cool video where I source millions of images for free, uh, how I make really cool camera moves, my entire pre-production and edit workflow, decades of experience, how I do a really efficient workflow to get an idea in my head and then turn it around and actually execute it, execute on it in real life. 
check out my website, jenjager.com. Thank you so much for watching this. If you want to buy Doodly, I have a link down below in the description, and I hope you guys have a great week.